Welcome back to the Tax Advisor and Biz Coach Success Podcast. The purpose of these episodes is to help entrepreneurs become more successful, avoid tax and other business headaches. Remember to tune in frequently as we will be sharing tips, secrets, and expert recommendations on how you can manage your finances, improve wealth, and grow your business. Please like, share, and subscribe. Here's your host, Liz Soria. Hi there, it's Liz Soria again, uh, your tax advisor and accountant here. Um, I specialize in real estate, it's one of my big, big niches, and uh, I love it because, well, I'm passionate to it, and uh, well, I've been through a lot of ups and downs in the real estate uh, cycle myself, and I think what better than specialize in something I really enjoy doing um, as an investment myself. So I wanna talk today about something that I think is really important, and Again, I'm creating all these uh, small kind of solo episodes, um, just clarifying a lot of things that I, I think, especially for beginners in real estate, they get very confused about. I have another um, video that I just recently did, and also it's an audio if you want to listen to it instead of watching it. Um, and it's about wholesaling and taxes. Uh, in this one, we're going to talk about really, you know, realtors. Um, and what really determines for you to be a, a true realtor in the eyes of uh, internal revenue. Um, and I've seen a lot of people trying different things and uh, let's just kind of put out the bullet points out there. So again, you must have heard the, the fact that you have to have over 750 hours of active hours during the year. And that is a true fact. Um, and by all means, 750 hours doesn't mean where uh, suddenly, you know, you're not being active in your um, sales and communicating with your potential customers or buyers or sellers. Uh, so if you're on the phone and happen to be you spend half an hour, you know, chatting with your friend, uh, yet that's not part of the 750 hours. So I, I, want, I want most realtors, especially even some of the ones who have been doing this for a while, um, you know, right now, I think we're going through a time with all the new, you know, Trump tax law, you know, changes that occurred less than, uh, you know, a year ago from this recording that I'm doing now. Um, and, you know, one of the benefits about realtors is that, you know, you do get that 20% deduction, which is phenomenal, okay? Um, however, be careful with that, right? Um, because you need to make sure you keep your standards um, doing that. And one thing I'm going to bring up to your attention to um, is always, you know, have someone in your team. And I always say this, whether you hire me, or you hire someone else, just make sure there's someone that understands your industry, right? And, and I use this analogy a lot throughout many of my, you know, um, episodes is that you want to hire someone that knows what they're doing. And the reason behind that is because uh, you want to pay the price of someone being a newbie and giving you advice that they really don't know what they're talking about. Um, and the reason I say this is because I watch a lot of other YouTube videos and listen to podcasts and sometimes it's kind of scary <laughs> what's going on out there uh, since it is an internet, uh, you know, in an in, in open market. Uh, some people talk things that they're not really uh, very familiar with. They just hear from someone else and you know how it goes. One message goes to someone else and by the time it reaches the last person, it's a completely different story <laughs> than the original. So anyhow, I'm sharing this with you because we're realtors. As long as you can prove you have your 750 hours, you'd be eligible to get that 20%, right? Um, which is really a, a business income deduction. Um, and it's called, yeah, the business service income. And one of the things about it is that you do have against you something is that you're not eligible at the same time to take a uh, section 179 depreciation or bonus depreciation unfortunately uh internal revenue was very strict about that while other services and other types of product companies can actually deduct the depreciation the 179 the bonus along with the 20 percent uh you're not as a realtor um, and I think that's really important that, that, that you understand that because um, you might be surprised as this might be your first year, um, you know, filing uh, your return and realizing that you cannot do both. 
Um, so I want to bring that up to your attention because I think it's extremely important. Uh, however, like I said, good news is you do get still give you 20%. Um, as long as you keep everything active and again, don't mix and mingle. I really mean this by all industries. Um, the clearer you have your records, the better it's going to be, uh, not only for you know, the person who's going to file your return, whether it's a CPA, accountant, or maybe any other tax professional that you know out there. Um, but especially for you, it just makes more sense. It's less headache, right? Um, I see people going nuts, you know, at the beginning of the year trying to gather all the documents and, and try and figure out what's what. Um, so anyhow, I hope this has been helpful to you and it has been. Please thumbs up, like, share, and comment and uh, reach out if you need any type of tax advisory service in your real estate or uh, you have any type of circumstances that I can help you with in regards to, like I said, whether it's taxes or, you know, moving up because uh, as we start acquiring more, you know, assets and, and money, uh, we also need to kind of come up with different tax strategies that is going to help you uh, reduce your tax liability. Um, so we still have to clear share. So, okay. So I have to pay my own, but anyhow, I, again, I hope this has been helpful and reach out and, uh, I hope to hear from you very soon and like I said, follow up, uh, follow with me through social media. I'm always there on LinkedIn, uh, Facebook and so on. Thank you so much until next time until my next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.